<laughs> Get used to seeing this picture. All right, guys, uh, this is the same shot you had yesterday, except we're wearing ties today. President Barack Obama has told top lawmakers he'll keep dragging them back to the White House till there's a deal much. on raising the debt limit, a deal that'll require painful choices much. on both sides, Democrats accepting benefit cuts, Republicans yielding to some higher taxes, concessions Obama says are unavoidable. Now is the time to deal with these issues. If not now, when? And he says no deficit-cutting deal can bypass tax hikes for the rich. If you don't have revenues, it means you are putting more of a burden on the people who can least afford it. And that's not fair. But from the GOP comes this blast, higher taxes kill jobs and can't pass. And the last thing we should be doing uh, right now at a time of 9.2 percent unemployment is enacting more government policies that will destroy jobs. And that is where these deficit talks are right now. Negotiating sessions that sometimes seem like just a pause between dueling news conferences. And meantime, every day brings America closer to the default that both sides have vowed to avoid. No question Washington's polarized politics make any deal dicey for the president and the speaker, since the two discussed a so-called $4 trillion grand bargain with deep spending cuts and higher taxes, both have felt blowback from the rank and file. But with elections approaching, Obama says the choices don't get any easier, so forget a short-term deal that just buys a few months. We might as well do it now. Uh, pull off the Band-Aid. Eat our peas. I want to get there. I want to do what I think is in the, right the best interest of the country, uh, but it takes two to tango, and they're not there yet. So pick your metaphor, awkward dancers or veggie-hating children, but a bargain of any size still appears far off. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House. Thank you very much.